Hello everyone, I'm providing an updated ships clip where I've re-enabled the coarse pressure solve and adding back uh, deep water for the ships scene. Before I had it disabled because I hadn't gotten to working with the multi-chunk ship structure, but it is now working. You see the water building up quickly and the ship starts floating. There's still a lot of performance improvements that can be done with this uh, multi-grid or like I only really have one course level at one eighth grid resolution so it's just one course grid. Technically if we wanted to go planet scale uh, we could go uh, you know further course uh, grid. Uh, but yeah you see uh, I can make a little wave now make some uh, waves where I change the gravity in the whole scene, pushing all the ships up. And now you see pretty deep water and the ships get lifted because of buoyancy. And uh, I'm just gonna keep uh, letting the water come in until it really, you know, slows down a bit. I guess it's a bit of a like a stress test of the system. This little water ball looks quite puny when uh, you can affect whole gravity. All right, one more large wave. Yeah, even though the frame rate here is like quite terrible, I, I'm pretty sure I can improve it by of uh, making more of that multi-grid stuff, multi-threaded. There's a lot of single-threaded stuff here. All right, cool, thanks for watching.